let's touch on you know you becoming an entrepreneur and some of the challenges that you face with that transition piece because you you know you worked in sales and now you're a full bred entrepreneur doing your own thing. What has been the greatest obstacle that you've had to overcome or learn during this transition for you? Man, the greatest thing was was realizing that the same thing you put into the game. When you was on the court, on the field, on the track, in the pool, all that effort, that energy, that, that passion, that focus, that persistence, that commitment, all that stuff you put into the game, bro, that you gave the game, I realized the game gave me that back. So once I realized the game gave me that back, it reciprocated it to me, I got into sales, and the first two years, I struggled. So it, it was kind of crazy. My, my, me and my roommate, he came out, had a shot with the Falcons, and then end up getting cut um, the last week of camp. So it's me and him. We both in sales. I got an online business and I got a sales job. Both of them full commission. He got a sales job, full commission. So now we at the crib. Everything we doing depend on us. Depending on us producing, right? So for the first two years, it was it was a struggle. And then they finally registered, bro. I'm I'm treating this thing like an amateur. I ain't putting everything I was putting in, in, into sales like I was putting into the game. And. At that point, I bought some training platforms, some 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 sales books, and I just started I just started honing my skills, bro. Studying, practicing, and teaching it just like I did it, just like I did it the game. And next thing you know, I started making money, and it started making sense, and I started getting good at it. And then this whole fear of being in the sales or being an entrepreneur or being broke, all that stuff went away because I was studying my craft, I was mastering my my craft. So what my biggest part was. If athletes just can realize whatever you finna transition into next, if you give it everything you done gave the game, the game done equip you with all those intangibles you need for that particular thing to be successful at it. But half of the time, we don't take it. We we don't do these three things right here. We don't we don't we don't take away. We don't correlate it, and we don't carry it over. I call that TCC. That was one of the biggest eye openers for me, man. Once I realized everything I did, all I had to do was find something to take away from it, and how it, how it would correlate to the next phase of my life, or what I was gonna be doing next, and how I could carry it over. It made sales easy. It made entrepreneurship easy. And from that point on moving forward, all I had to do was go out here and produce. Now, producing is a different animal, but you got you got the, the mindset is, is so normal. It's like, all right, cool, get it done. Like, it's not a fear of what happens if I don't produce. It's, it's not an option, just produce, get it done. Just like in the game, all right, make the play. Right. Like, it is what it is, make the tackle. Like, it, it, it became the thing to do. So, man, that was probably the biggest, the biggest struggle in the transition, but once, it, once I realized it, that's honestly why I had to put this thing in the book because I felt like the formula didn't change. I, I found the blueprint, but it was not. It, I mean, it, it just it was not told or not shown, but athletes got it. Like it's in us.